Hi, this is Keisha Rogers with an exciting update from NASA earlier today, uh, gave us a very exciting update on the first of Perseverance. As people know, I reported that uh, Perseverance after its landing on Mars on the 18th of February was going to do some extraordinary science work as NASA aims to look for microbial life on Mars, whether or not life in the Jezero crater actually inhabited uh, life, microbial life. And so what we found out today, and I would encourage people go to the JPL and Perseverance website and you will find out all of the details about this exciting mission. And perseverance is exactly what is represented by mankind to be able to explore out into the solar system to come to understand better our own planet. And what, after looking at Mars in this great crater that perseverance landed in, the Jezero crater that goes back over 3.5 billion years, there's a lot to learn from it. We're going to be investigating the rocks. And so today, uh, some of the scientists from JPL gave an overview of what we've been able to accomplish already with this mission, including that we have actually uh, been able to deploy our wind sensors, uh, the Perseverance wind sensors. Now, this amazing ro rover uh, has over 23 different cameras science cameras, uh, other cameras. And uh, they focused on a number of them. First of all, if you have not had a chance to go to the NASA website and look at the amazing images that Perseverance has sent back, we're talking about 7,449 and counting more images that have been brought uh, sent back to Earth from Perseverance with its numerous ca cameras. And these uh, missions, excuse me, these, these images are being sent back by the MassCam Z has sent a number of the images. Also, uh, what was spectacular today is that we learned that we actually traveled, that Perseverance uh, traveled and left footprints or uh, tracks, <laughs> should we say, uh, on Mars and uh, we are headed toward a delta, uh, and we're hoping to find some extraordinary science there. We will be doing this after the mission of the Ingenuity helicopter. Now, people remember that we have Ingenuity that was under the bed of Perseverance that will be the first powered flight on Mars, and it will be deployed very soon here. So. I want you to go and, and look at all of the fascinating science uh, instruments on Perseverance, including the exciting instruments of the Sherlock instrument, which is on the, on the arm of the rover. The rover has an arm, you can see, and it is uh, going to be an instrument that will look at the structure of uh, rock formation and also it's going to be guided along with a, a camera uh, called the w Watson camera. So uh, this is pretty exciting because uh, this both of these features are going to go into very detail uh, into what is the makeup of the rocks that we see on Mars, uh, especially rocks that we could maybe possibly uh, could have been formed through water that ex existed um, in the crater. And so this is absolutely remarkable. Now, why is this so important? And as I said, I wanna bring you these updates as someone who is not working with NASA, but someone who sees the importance in the exploration of space 
and the discoveries of uh, that we make in space, how this impacts our planet, our continued understanding of what we have to come to know about uh, one, the science that's going to impact our own planet from the standpoint of advancing our, uh, the earth economically and scientifically, the types of discoveries that we can make. And the types of discoveries we make, for instance, I am a big advocate of, um, and someone who loves to go out and explore rocks. You know, I call myself a uh, amateur um, geologist, although, uh, I didn't study geology, but you know, it, I'm fascinated by uh, these, uh, I go out and pick these wonderful, uh, amazing colored rocks, uh, different colors of, of rocks and sediment formation. Uh, I just recently went and I was uh, near the, the Gulf and uh, discovered this amazing, uh, amazing structure, amazing rock here. Um, and I was asking, wow, I wonder what type of living organisms uh, were present in helping to, to form this, these rocks. Well, you know, this is what we're thinking about here on Earth. We can know these things. We can go and pick them up. Uh, we haven't yet been able to go with as human beings and go and pick up rocks on Mars, but um, we do have our instruments, our rovers up there that are preparing the way for when we do send human beings to Mars, we can figure out where would be a good place to have a habitat on Mars, uh, figure out how we can, uh, as we're doing with the MOXIE instrument on Perseverance, start to produce um, O2 on Mars. Um, and this is, so I, I found this quite exciting because you see the structure is um, almost shaped like a heart. And I, I picked this up and was pretty amazed there. So uh, this is what we should be excited about in terms of the great potential of discovery. And this is why I want to say that everyone has to understand the importance of space exploration for transforming and elevating mankind and the creative discoveries of, uh, of mankind. As I said before, this is great. The United States is on Mars now, uh, but don't forget, we're not there alone. We actually have company um, at, that is flying around Mars, uh, including China with its TN1 mission, TN1 mission uh, that just sent back also some uh, amazing pictures from uh, orbiting around Mars and they will be landing on Mars on the uh, coming up in uh, May. So we'll look forward to hearing more about that as well. And you can also find those pictures and discoveries that that China has made, you also have the UAE doing some fascinating work as well. As we said, uh, they launched their missions um, just a few weeks before the US did. So again, we are not just going to Mars, but we're building a platform. This is the importance of why what Lyndon LaRouche, the LaRouche Political Action Committee, our commitment to a moon Mars mission has been so critical because we understand that this is not just a one-time fix, that we're talking about how do we build a platform of mankind into the solar system. And we've seen this for decades with the commitment of, with, of the great economist and American statesman, Lyndon LaRouche on defining a mission, a 30 to 40 year economic science driver mission for a moon Mars colonization program. And this is a very important stepping stone to doing that. Uh, perseverance on the back of curiosity and 
Spirit and so many other rovers we've sent in preparation for preparing the way for human exploration on Mars. But we have to do this by building a platform, including continuing the work in low Earth orbit and going to, Mar to the moon and continuing to build a base of operation on the moon. Uh, we're going to be doing that with the success of the with the success of the uh, mission of Artemis that President Donald Trump laid out. Uh, and this mission with the first woman and the next man on the moon by 2024, building the platform, starting to get the, with the gateway program and also building up a habitat base camp on the moon uh, is, and also exploring what we have in terms of water, uh, ice on, on the moon that has been discovered that can give us rocket fuel for getting to other destinations in the solar system like Mars. So this is all very important as you're thinking about the extraordinary and fascinating science that we're being sent back from Perseverance. Know that this is a part of a bigger mission that we have to continue to fight for. So that is the report and update I want to give you today. And we uh, definitely should be excited about the great discoveries that we're making and what's in store for us to come. Okay, so thanks.